What remains unclear? It's important to remember that the Supreme Court of Canada decision in 2012 uh, were about uh, vaginal sex only. So there are some circumstances uh, where we are not completely sure uh, about the law and what it says and how it's going to apply um, to, to those other activities. Um, the question, for example, is what about uh, anal sex? Um, we know that anal sex uh, represents a higher risk of transmission than vaginal sex. So we are pretty sure that um, the legal obligation is at least as strict. This is why we say that you need to disclose if you have unprotected anal sex or if you have protected anal sex, but your viral load is higher than low. <laughs>